Hello everyone, welcome back to New Tech Unbox. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your PlayStation 5 storage by adding an internal M.2 SSD card. Let's get straight to it. Right, the first thing we're going to want to do is check our current storage in our PS5 so that we can verify a successful installation towards the end. As you can see, you do this by going to settings and storage. At the moment, I've only got the extended storage and the console storage. The first step to this is to go to systems and um, system software and ensure that we have the latest software installed. This has got to be the software that's uh, past the 15th of September, which is when the update was released by Sony to allow us to uh, install an inter internal storage unit. Um, once you've selected that, just choose the internet and let it do its thing. I'm going to fast forward here, it does restart a couple of times for the um, actual software to install on the console. So once the installation is complete or while it's um, uh, being installed, uh, what you want to do is set up your um, SSD card and your um, heatsink. So uh, this is the uh, combination that I've gone for. Uh, I've gone for the 980 Pro by Samsung and uh, this Kevin 3 um, heatsink that I found on Amazon. There are different uh, types that you can grab. Um, but I've chosen this one, it comes with the heatsink itself, uh, thermal pads, um, fixing screws, I think there's two spare screws and a screwdriver as well, so for me that was uh, that was a good, a good deal, it was only about £15. Um, what you want to do is start setting it up, so as you can see, you're going to put one thermal pad on the bottom, um, just unpack the uh, SSD card and you're going to want to place the SSD card on the top. and add a thermal pad on the top of the M.2 SSD card as well. Now you want to be careful and make sure you read the instructions to make sure that you've got the SSD facing the right way. That is important when you um, sort of clip it in and screw it down into the PlayStation. So um, I read through instructions very carefully and um, I tried it a couple of times before I actually finally put the thermal pad on the top and I screwed it in. So you might want to do that um, just to make sure. Now I will leave all the links for the parts that I've used in this video in the description below so you don't have to worry about finding them on Amazon or anything like that. Um, as you can see, just finalizing by putting the thermal paste on, screw the um, top end or the cover of the heatsink um, in and we can then move to the next step. Now to begin the installation of the SSD into the PlayStation 5, you're going to want to remove the stand, then face the PlayStation with the CD uh, side facing up, pull up from the side opposite the CD end while sliding towards the CD. You then want to remove the um, uh, bottom part where you can clearly see there's a cover for the uh, M.2 SSD card and then you're going to want to also remove this screw which is then going to be used to sort of screw down the uh, SSD once you clip it in. Bring your SSD in, uh, make sure you put it down at, at an angle then you sort of bend it down and you push it in you should hear a little click. Do not forget the um, back plate of the screw. Uh, I did forget that at the first time I screwed it in and then it ended up falling into the PlayStation. So um, there is a back plate behind that screw which you will need to put at the bottom so that you can screw the M.2 uh, into it. Once that's done, screw it in, put the cover back in the opposite motion and you're done. Now you will know straight away if the installation has been done correctly because when you turn on the PlayStation it will prompt you to format the SSD um, and it will 
set it up to be used as storage on the um, PlayStation. You will then get a couple of messages displayed about the speed of the SSD and where you can find and save data on it. Um, and once it boots up, we'll just quickly take a look at the storage section that we looked up earlier in the video just to make sure that it's installed correctly and that, that, that it's there. We can now then do things like move games from our main storage of the PlayStation 5 onto the SSD um, or download them straight from the PlayStation Store. That's it from me for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it and it was beneficial. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos coming up soon. Peace.